Yesterday I, I chaired a discussion uh, of the Large Practice Forum of the Institute of Architects, which is a group of large practices and medium-sized practices. And interestingly, one of the things that came up and was, uh, was a topic of discussion was the siloing of research within universities and practice. Um, and I think it's critical um, that we create those connections and perhaps today's forum is to some extent the, the beginning of that. Um, I know there's a lot of practitioners uh, and I, I would assume clearly within planning and landscape and in engineering etc that really would like to engage with the, all of the good work, important research work that um, that's happening and we've seen some of that uh, today. Um, a lot of talk today about urban design. Um, some call it the contested ground between lots of different competing interests. I, I really like to think of it as the shared ground. Uh, obviously there's a range of designers, be it architects, landscapers, um, planners, um, engineers, um, economists, as Tim pointed out, a, a critical part of the equation, sociologists, uh, and of course heritage. and, and um, uh, overriding all of that is, of course, community. So it's a, it's a it's a terribly important area, and to some extent, it's the it's the bit in between that we really need to capture and, and champion. Um, and, and I think on that, uh, this whole area of you know what constitutes urban design, uh, particularly for Sydney at the moment, as Tim pointed out, but also particularly in the context of. Um, what's proposed in the white paper in regard to the changes to the Planning Act, I mean that we need to think more carefully about how we operate in this area, and it's a challenge not only for the professions but also, I, I think, for, um, for for research and academia in regard to the sort of um, designers uh, and in saying that I mean landscape architecture etc um, that we're going to push forward and plan our cities in, into the future. Just very quickly in terms of the talks today, um, my sense of, the, of them was that there was a really nice compelling range of discussions. Michelle talked about the experiential aspect to, uh, to the design of our cities, um, you know, to, to the way that design should engage all of our senses, obviously the oral uh, in, in particular, or as well as you know, the more obvious ones. Um, John spoke about the, the different types of public spaces we have and the interesting uh, way that these spaces need to be considered. Um, Kate spoke of um, use and the way that we really need to consider how spaces are used in a variety of ways by a variety of, of people. And of course Jan just spoke um, very passionately about uh, uh, um, strategic planning and, and the importance of strategic planning and the, you know, the collective use of land, space and buildings and the way they all need to come together through the prism of design and the importance of drawing, which I support being an architect. I mean, I, overall I think that the, the key issues from my point of view, or I think um, the professions, the architectural professions point of view, a density, Tim spoke about that very briefly, that's critical for Sydney going forward. Uh, land use and how we plan for land use and, and a key part of that is employment. Um, uh, transport, we didn't really talk about transport very much, but Bob Meyer, one of my partners, always talks about land use and transport being the same side of the, you know, the one coin. It's a critical part of how we plan our cities. And of course, the other aspect, which again Tim uh, hinted at, um, is how affordability, housing affordability, and that's an, a critical part of the economic framework with how we plan our cities going forward. Thank you.